few requirements for coil pots. The first one is that it has to be um, at least six inches tall. How tall is six inches? Well, I don't expect you to get a ruler out every time, but if you spread your thumb and your first finger as far apart as they can possibly go, that's about six that's inches there, six inches. okay? <clears throat> Second requirement, it must include some sort of design within the coils. That does not mean I want you to make a coil pot and draw on it. It means that I want the coils themselves to form some sort of pattern or design, like this here has swirls in it <clears throat> instead of just coil upon coil. This has design. This one also has design. Okay, is it tall enough? No, it needs to be about twice this tall. Um, let's see. Third, third rule is that it has to have some sort of shape. It can't just be a cylinder. This is a cylinder, right? The shape of like a can, straight up and down circle. How about this one? Is it a cylinder? No. No. Why? Because it's wider. Because it's wider at the top than it is at the bottom. Are you limited to circles and squares? Nope. No. You can make any shape out of a coil that you coil pot that you could possibly imagine. Okay. Two different ways to start. You can either start with a slab, like the bottom of this one here, solid piece of clay that you roll out using a rolling pin, or you could start with coils. I'm gonna grab a rolling pin here, quick. If you're gonna roll out a slab, I suggest that you use a piece of wood to put your clay on. Um, if you don't have a piece of wood, I only have about one piece per kid. So if you could uncover or take the piece of wood that your whistle's sitting on and use that, your whistle should be safe now to just sit on your shelf with just a plastic bag. It'd be fine. How thick can your slabs and your coils be? No thicker than a quarter of an inch or the width of your pinky finger. make any shape that you'd like. Sure, we'll go with that. Okay, so you can start with a slab. Now if I built this one straight up and down, would that be acceptable? Yes. Why? Because it's not a cylinder. <laughs> the other way that you could start would be with a coil, coil design, so like this one on the bottom is built with coils starting out. All right. When you roll out your coils, you want to make sure that you roll your hands all the way through your coil. If you just rack it back and forth in the palm of your hand, you're going to end up with two flat sides and it's going to be a square instead of a coil. I like to start in the middle and kind of spread my fingertips out as I go. That way I make sure that I get a nice even coil because they tend to be thinner on the ends. I would say that about like that's good thickness. I wouldn't go any thicker than that. But do you do all your coils have to be the same thickness? No. No. You could make some thin on purpose as part of your design. All right. But what I meant by having a base that's made out of coil is that you could do something like this. Okay? Two different types of bases that you could start with, slab or coil. Would these need to be slipped and scored together? Yes. Absolutely they would. All right. Next thing I want to talk to you guys about is design. In this coil pot, you have tons of design, right? Those little dots right here and there are three rows. They're evenly spaced. That's pretty cool. However, <clears throat> Coil pot is this, the method of construction that you're using. So if you wanted to smooth out all the areas here that are purple and leave the design solid and, and within your pot, you could totally do that. All right, you can smooth out your pots if you don't like the coil look, but you do have to leave the design there because that's one of my requirements. You could smooth out the inside of your pots. This one's smooth on the inside. If you want to make your coil pot into something functional like a cup, you want to slip and score a handle onto it, you're more than welcome to do that. If you would like to make it into a vase or other functional objects, you're more than welcome to do that. My suggestion if you plan on putting something inside of it would be to smooth out the inside, mostly just because it's easier to clean. Okay, if you're gonna put a liquid in it, it's easier to clean a smooth surface than it is to try to get in all the nicks and crannies. Okay, um, let's see, what else? Do you guys have any questions? No? Coil pots. Yes. 
Six inches tall, it can't be a cylinder, it has to have some sort of design. You guys can be as creative with this as you could possibly imagine, all right? Don't just make a circle because it's the easiest, because in fact, it's actually not.